Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I am at an antique store over in Alton, Illinois. It's an area that I don't really get to very often because it's really out of the way, but we are meeting someone over here and I already found this really cool black depression glass. It's only $8 and it's very cool. It has this great key design and it matches the flower frog that I just recently picked up. Uh, but I believe this is just an open planter type thing because it's so large or, yeah. So we're gonna take a look around. It's really cool rotary phone these things go for pretty good money but $49 is pretty much well it's too much for me to buy and sell but I did sell one of these for a little bit over $100 on Etsy so that's that was really cool however it did sell to a TV company for a TV show so they had a little bit bigger budgets I think this is a really interesting mall they have a lot of great stuff and I really just got here and the first thing I found was this. So that was a great sign, I think. But they have some really interesting items. This is a mall that had Franciscan Ivy in it and they were wanting more than I wanted to pay a while ago. And that was about a little over a year ago. Oh, I love this crinoline. 125 in the blue. Hazel Atlas crinoline, um, but yeah. It's been over a year since I've been here, so I can't blame the ivy dishes for not being here anymore. But I figured if they were here by chance, they would definitely be discounted. Oh. These are some really, really cute glasses, and I love the the little carriage that it comes in. Carriage? Cradle, more so. $18, so cute. I love those little lines. And these here with the airbrushed, or I don't know, screen printed pattern on there at $42. Really cute. That's a great booth. There's some Dorothy Thorpe style here, $45 with the caddy. This stuff is so pretty, but it's really not worth anything right now. I mean, $12 for a juice reamer, Vaseline glass. We have little sherbet cups, divided bowl, all of this uranium depression Vaseline glass. It's awesome. It's really cool, but it's really not worth anything uh, right now. This depression stuff is taking a huge dip. It's very damp and musty in here. love this orange and black let's see what it says art deco compote and candlesticks three piece $98 oh my shout out to crazy lamp lady look at this amazing shade here it's like a two tier whoops it's $110 oh my gosh wow this place has a ton of cool mid-century furniture, but for the most part, it's priced pretty high. Now, she is dealing with me and giving me really good deals at the front, um, saying that she really needs to liquidate and get rid of things. Um, so I have gotten a couple things for free, and I'll show you that later on. But uh, a lot of this is just really big, and I only drove... Wow, look at that. I only drove my car. So... I don't know, maybe that's good for me that I did that, but um, for the most part, yeah, there's a lot of big, big things here. That's a cool table, and um, I really can't act on a lot of this stuff, which I said is probably a good thing for me. Oh my goodness gracious, lots of stuff. This is really cool. $8.00. It's an ashtray with a matchbox holder in the center. Very cool. Eight dollars. These are so cool. Has the cardboard box, and you get five of them for seven dollars, but it's missing the sixth. All right, so I'm back home, and I have the items here on the table that I did manage to find. I went to an antique mall and then another antique mall. I also went to Goodwill and I didn't really find anything, but I'll just kind of 
leave that out of it. That was a really, eh, wasn't great. But I did manage to find a couple interesting things. And one thing I did show you, and I'll get to, but there's one surprise. And I will leave that for more or less the last thing that I show, because it's really cool, and I'm really happy about it. But I want to give a little update on something here. This is an L.E. Smith flower frog vase combo, and it has this removable top to it. I picked this up here. This was in a recent haul video, too. I picked this up here for $2, this bottom here. And I knew from past experience that it was missing the flower frog right here. And I went online, found someone who was selling just the flower frog, and now I have a complete set. So that is really cool, and I'm happy that it's all taken care of. Uh, I did pay more than I wanted to pay on the flower frog. I think it was like $13 with shipping included, so ugh. yeah. Uh, the whole thing is worth about $24, so that's what they sell for right now. Okay, so speaking of the black glass, um, if you do a little research, you might find that the black glass, this black depression era glass, is known as black amethyst. A lot of people call that, call it that. And what I'm going to say about that is, first off, amethyst is purple. And the reason why they call it black amethyst is because to the naked eye, it's black. But what it really is, it's such a deep, dark purple that it's black and it shows up black and one caveat and one and I'm going to expand upon that that there is no such thing as true black that we have seen with our eyes uh it, that's it's just not a thing every black that you see is not true black that might be hard to to, to grasp um I think there's something called phantom black it's the currently only it's like the darkest known black paint they made it's been a while since I watched that video, but was, what I'm trying to say is that every black is based on a color that has been darkened as much as it has, that it can. So to call this more than just black is sort of laughable in my opinion. The only way to see that it's not black is to hold a bright light up to it, to a, to a thin part of it. And this is too thick. You can't put a light through this and see it. But if you had a bright light in a thin piece of black glass, you can look at it and see what color, the true color of the black glass is made out of. And here's where I'm going to expand upon that a little bit more. There are multiple ways to make black glass. You can make it with amethyst, you can make it with an olive green glass, and you can make it with amber glass. Um, I think even maybe blue. Like, so there's a few different ways, and the different ways is just what mineral do you, or what um, chemical makeup do you use. Sulfur, I think, would actually produce a amber glass. So the question is, what base glass do you have? So what I'm trying to say, and what all this is really referring to, is there is an overgeneralization out there that whenever you have black glass, it's automatically amethyst glass. And my, the thing I have to add to that is you don't know there's the different makers maybe used a different glass color to make the black. So why call it black amethyst whenever it's not really black purple, it's black amber or black olive. And the second part of that question is, does it matter? Does that secondary attribute of a color really add anything to what it is? It's black glass. This was $8 at an antique mall. I think that's a fantastic price. Now for comparison, here's the size difference. This is the planter or urn, whatever you want to call it, and it's done the same Greek key pattern. I went to this and, well, what is it? It's like an, it's an antique mall, and it's it was the place that was really dimly lit, and there was this lady that owns it, and I went there before, and anyways, she knew that I was a reseller and all of that. She's like, what do you think about these dishes? And there were some, some dishes on the table, and I'm like, well, these are all mix matched. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want, she's like, well, you can have whatever you want have yeah for free so I pulled a few plates out of the stack uh, these are the only ones that caught my eye the rest of them many of them were crazed and they were truly random there was no uh, you know these were the only ones that were cool to me and here they are they are I'll tell you what the maker is it's Monterey made in California but if you can see here this one's green and there's like a peppery effect there's little like black dots, like a peppery on the green. So it's really pretty. Now that's the only green one I have, whoops. But the other two are blue. So I have, and here's the exciting part. I have this matching bowl 
that I've had for a long time and I use this uh, in the kitchen. It's really pretty, I love it. And it wasn't marked, so I couldn't remember. I think at one point I might have, might have known who made this, but um, this is all I had of that pattern. But now I have two matching blue plates in the same pattern, so I think that's really awesome. Uh, so I'll just hang on to these. I really don't need them, but at least now I have more than just one random bowl. So that's cool, and I'm glad that I got them. And they were free, like I said, so I feel really happy about that. The other thing that I got for free, and I did buy one thing from her, the other thing that I got for free were some salt and pepper shakers. And I found that really odd, but there was a whole box of salt and pepper shakers. Many of them had like advertising, not advertising, but uh, uh, states, like if you, uh, souvenir, they were souvenirs. So they had like wherever you would have visited. And uh, yeah, I don't really deal with those. But these are plain and they have just really cute fruit on them. So I have a few salt and pepper shakers. I'll show you real quickly. Uh, made in Japan. There's what's left of a Japan sticker on the bottom here. And they're just really cute. So I've got that pair. I got a pair here of little birds. These are plastic. So they're awesome and cute. Plastic. And then I have this set here of a strawberry and the orange. And those are really kind of cute too. 70s more so. But I think they're awesome. And the last set I got for free were this is this pair of pears. <laughs> That's funny. And they are in Nesco, Japan. So awesome. And they have a sort of something on top for the for the thing. But anyways, those were all for free. So I thought that was really cool. And um, yeah, she was like, I need to down, I need to get rid of some stuff here. And so that was great. Um, okay, the thing that I'm most excited about, and I'm just, I cannot believe I got. So the next thing I'm about to show you is my second one. And I'll show it to you and then I'll let you decide how you feel. I like it a lot. You can see it, can't you? Here it is. Oh boy. So this is a 1950s era, probably late 50s, early, early 60s. And this is made by the Miro Star Company, Miro Star. And it's just a really cool Christmas item. We have here a sleigh with this candle, these candles on here. I think there is, what, eight? And I believe these are, if not the original bulbs, well, they all match, so that's awesome. There is like paint chipping on the bulbs themselves and they say USA on them. They might be the originals, but that is so cool. So these are like a, an aluminum mesh candlesticks. Um, the whole thing is just awesome. Here's the plug, it's all original stuff. So it's made by the, the Miro Star Company out of, is it New Jersey? This is the second one of these that I have. The first one I actually got from Scott, Old Curiosity Shop, and uh, that one's now in my Christmas stuff downstairs. So this one I'm going to hang on to. These sell, first of all, I paid $5 for this. This was on the floor of that place. I picked it up and she's like, you like that? I'm like, yeah, I think so. I was playing dumb. And she was like, $5. I was like, really? Okay. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it's really awesome. I like this a lot. It does work. I plugged it in. So that's awesome. These sell, if you were to sell something like this, for anywhere between $50 and $80. Wow. I know. That was during the Christmas season, though. So, I mean, it might be a little bit more inflated. I think um, the off season would probably be half of that uh, for sure. But this is just so cool. And they made very, like they made different versions of this with like maybe three candlesticks, like in a smaller compact shape and then this whole thing like that. So there's different ones. If you're interested, they have at least five different versions of it. So that's really cool. Actually, you know what? That's everything. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye-bye.